Hey everyone, I'm Reagan. And I'm Erin. We want to welcome you to this month's edition of the Dollar Club. And the new Dollar Club for kids. That's right. We'll see how everyone, kids included, contributing just $1 a month can bless the community and share the love of Christ to those around us. Today we'll be talking with Benjamin, a director for the Compassion International Center in Kenya. One of the projects our kids help support through Compassion is Agape Ministries, which provides school health, access to a doctor, and after-school programs in Kenya. They also come alongside parents to provide support and parental classes. They are doing amazing work to love the kids and family of Nakuru, Kenya as well. Let's sit down with Benjamin to hear more about their work. And see if there's a way the dog club can help. Can you tell us a little bit about the child development center and what you do there? So what they do is that they link the church to the committee and also to the program. So they assist in, in forming some sort of a bridge, you know, the children and also uh, the parents, you're one big family. And we wanna make sure that the children grow up knowing that we're in partnership with their parents. Because we believe that children are better brought up when there is a partnership between the parents and the program. You don't want them to see or to feel that there is a disconnect between them. When the children are at the program, they not only we not only handle the curriculum-based content, we also have the extra curriculum where the children get to play sports and games. So those are some of the activities that we run at the program, and uh, they help us also to be able to build the child holistically and to help this child grow, knowing that they are loved, they are protected, and they are known because that is how we want to develop them. We heard that you all were in need of building a wall. How will that impact your ministry? Uh, we're surrounded by Islam. There is a slum that is, is near the program. And sometimes the negativity of the slum, uh, you know, gets you know, into our children. And we feel that that kind of wall will offer our children a protection from the external influences, especially when they are with us. Uh, we feel that when our children are, are playing in, in, the, in the compound, so that kind of fence would offer us an enclosure where our children would feel safe, that they are known, they are loved, and they are protected. How does a wall keep the kids safe? Wow, thank you. That's a beautiful question. Uh, our children come from an environment where not everybody loves them and not everybody wants the best for them. Some people want to harm our children. Some people want, want to mock our children when they get to the program. And some really don't care what is happening to their children. So we feel that when you build that wall, it's going to protect our children from people that will want to harm them, people that will want to take advantage of our children. Because when you have many children gathering together in one place, it, it requires us to be extra careful to be able to take care of all the children and to make sure that none of them is harmed and none of them is injured. When we don't have a wall around, it becomes difficult for us to be able to know that all the children are safe. The wall is gonna take care of them also and protect them. How can we be praying for you and the kids we sponsor? We, we really would love you to pray that our children will, that God will take care of them and protect them from the negative influences that are around the society. Uh, we live in a, a godless society, not just in, in Africa, but it's a global thing where people have taken God as a by the way. So we would love it if you pray that our children, that God will help them to grow and to have the discernment to choose to love God and to serve God even as they grow older. Well, Benjamin, thank you so much for sitting down and just sharing with us today. We actually have this ministry at River Ridge called the Dollar Club, where we ask everybody once a month to throw in an extra dollar and we find a need to help fill. And this month, we actually brought our kids along. So I actually have a check for you today to help go towards that wall. For $5,103.
We are so excited to share this special edition of the Dollar Club to launch our brand new ministry, Dollar Club for Kids. You can get your child involved in the Dollar Club for Kids by registering on our website. Each child will receive a packet in the mail that includes monthly Dollar Club for Kids envelopes, a Dollar Club for Kids bracelet, and a letter templates to send to Shanice and Jeffrey or John. Let's get our kids on in the blessing of contributing just $1 a month to show the love of Christ to those around us. Sign up today.